What's up everybody, this is Hobbit. And um, recently I posted on Instagram a picture of a, a shower that I made uh, to use at the campsite out of a broken canopy. And I got a lot of feedback from that and uh, a lot of people asked <clears throat> for me to uh, make a video on, on how I did that. So uh, that's what I wanna do in this video is how I made a, a portable outdoor shower out of a broken canopy. So behind me is a 10 by 10 canopy, and I love these things. And um, I've had several for, you know, over the years, and I have a, a 10 by 20 that I use all the time when I go camping. And, um, and I, I just love them, they're convenient and, and awesome. Um, but if you've had these, then you know that um, occasionally if you've got it set up and you get any wind and it's not really secured very well, um, these poles can like, bend and uh, break or warp or something like that and um, oftentimes they're not even usable after that so um, I tend to hang on to a bunch of crap whenever things uh, break um, and the same is true with these and, and actually I have another one that's in the corner of my garage is broken um, but I keep them because all the parts are really interchangeable um, they're really easy to take apart and uh, to reuse pieces and joints and things like that so Anyways, I'm going to walk you through what I did and uh, hopefully you think it's helpful. I use this in conjunction with a, uh, a Camp Chef Triton 5 liter portable water heater and that thing is freaking amazing and uh, I'm going to do another video on that uh, in a little bit. Um, it's sort of a follow up to the first one that I did but in any event, um, where I live and, and I camp often in Oklahoma, um, the bathhouses aren't very good at all and uh, and I have three little boys and um, chasing them around the bathhouse is just a nightmare. So uh, it's it's a lot easier for me to shower them, you know, in this or, you know, in an outdoor shower. So, you know, trying to bathe uh, our sons is a lot easier um, in this than it is a bathhouse. Um, before I got this camper behind me, um, I had another camper and I had a an instant two room shower tent that I got from Walmart and it was awesome. But when I sold the camper, I sold the, uh, the shower tent with the camper uh, to the, the person who bought it. And so I was stuck trying to figure out, okay, what am I gonna do now? And I had some trips planned and uh, I needed to come up with something. So I had this in the corner of the garage and I thought, hey, maybe I can make a shower out of this. So anyways, I, uh, I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that broke. Uh, if you, uh, if you have these, then you know that in the center of these canopies, there's usually um, this piece right here. And there are uh, four sort of arms that extend, oh, that extend to uh, each corner. And when you raise them up, they have these, um, these sort of joints in the middle that keep them you know, up. Um, with this particular canopy, you can see here, um, that the this arm that keeps the uh, the canopy up in the middle it broke right there and um, and it also broke at another location so what I did was is um, these things are really easy to take apart and they're just uh, you know some screws and a few nuts and stuff like that so I took this part off and it just left me with the uh, the sort of base without the uh, the part that holds the roof up. After I took off the roof, there was one section on the side that was warped. And in fact, it's still warped. And I'll show you that real quick. Here's the warped side here. Um, and you can still see right here that this pole is bent and the pin right there is bent as well. So it really just uh, wasn't usable. So <clears throat> for the side that was bent and warped, this, this part, I just took it off. And uh, you can see here there's holes on the side and there are these little screws. That uh, just a Phillips head that you can just unscrew and the whole thing, it comes off. And that left me with just the three sides that, that you see behind me. After I had the three sides, I was left trying to figure out, okay, so how do I, um, 
you know, connect the top because there's, you know, the accordion piece is missing. So I actually took this piece from the roof, one of the uh, sort of the corner uh, extension pieces, and um, I just sort of tested out the lengths and this seemed to fit just right. And it already has the holes drilled in the ends like this. And um, so what I do is I just carry this in the bag with me uh, to the campsite. And then I have some little screws that I keep in my uh, toolbox in my truck. And then I just screw it in. So I'll just show you what, what I do when I get to the uh, campsite and put it together. Just put two screws in the corners just like that. And um, this gives me the, the top crossbar to, uh, to enclose the shower. And that's pretty much it. Um, I just pull the legs up until they click one time. And um, it's uh, probably about a little over six feet tall. And uh, that's plenty tall enough for, for the shower. Once I got all this put together, um, my issue was uh, I have this portable water heater and it has a hose with a little shower head connected to it. And uh, my wife complained uh, when we had the other shower tent about having to hold the, uh, the shower head and, um, and the water was going everywhere and try to keep the water running and all that. So she really wanted the, uh, the shower head to be hung in the shower and uh, so she didn't have to mess with it. And so I had to come up with a way to secure the shower head and uh, so that it could hang up and secure, in, you know, secure it inside the, uh, the canopy. So I'll show you what I came up with uh, it's not the only method, but uh, I think it's pretty nifty. All right, so what I did to secure the shower head on this is I made, um, I had some scrap wood and uh, just some like uh, one by twos or one by threes. And um, I cut two pieces about the same length. And the, um, the water heater, it comes with this mount for the shower head, but there's obviously nothing to secure that to in, in this canopy, so I had to kind of come up with something. And uh, so what I did is I cut these two pieces and then I drilled um, a hole here and on the other side, uh, or on the other piece, and I just used a uh, just a lock nut and, um, and put this through so that I can, so that it still moves, uh, but I don't have to worry about putting it together when I get to the campsite. And all I do is I drilled these holes on the sides and I did the same thing on the bottom, two holes. And I just secure this with zip ties. And uh, when I go camping, I always carry with me a little bag of zip ties like this. In fact, I have two or three bags, different lengths, just cause you never know what you might need them for. And, um, and all I do is, um, is just line the holes up and then I use zip ties like this. And that's pretty much it. So give you a better idea here. Um, I just use the zip ties like that. Same there. And then I have one on the bottom and uh, this is really secure, like really secure. And uh, I can just hang the, uh, the shower head right there and it has a hose and then uh, when I'm I'm trying to bathe the boys. It's a lot easier. Uh, I can take that shower head off, and then um, you know my boys all standing here, and and uh, you know just shower them off. You know, in terms of the size of this thing, um, it's really big. It's probably every bit of uh, four feet by four feet, if if not maybe a little bigger than that. Um, but. Um, but it's, it's plenty big. So like I said, this is about four feet by four feet. It's, it's really big. And uh, so I'm standing inside of it. Um, I mean, I've got plenty of room. Um, I'm, I'm like right at six feet tall and um, I've got about five or so inches above my head. Um, so it's, it's plenty high enough. And so what I was left with after this is, okay, well, what am I gonna use for the walls um, to, to enclose this? You can buy the sidewalls for the uh, instant canopies, and they're they're really uh, pretty inexpensive. You can I get like a, a 10 foot by 10 foot section, uh, or like one side panel um, 
for like $15 on Amazon or something like that. And so the ones that I like are the ones that, uh, that zip together. Um, and I use them on my uh, 10 by 20 canopy. And um, that way I can either, you know, kind of block off the campsite a little bit, kind of make it a little more private. Um, or if, if we have, you know, if we're camping and there's a bunch of wind uh, from a certain direction, then I can kind of block some of the wind. Um, and so over the years I've, I've collected some different colors because I've had so many different canopies. And so I had some uh, extra panels. And so I just took two of them and I zipped one side together. And um, each one of those panels has Velcro straps. And so um, I just Velcroed one uh, side um, on the pole or the corner pole and then I wrapped it around and I have some big uh, office clips that um, I use on the back on the wood here and I clamp it up and then I use the velcro to secure it around the sides and um, and then it's big enough where uh, one panel comes all the way around and I just secure it across the top and it literally slides across like a shower curtain and um, it works <laughs> It works unbelievably well. Uh, and in fact, I, my wife continues to comment about how much she likes this versus the uh, using the bathhouse. What I do for the floor is um, I have this little five by seven tarp that I got at Harbor Freight for like five bucks or something. And uh, in fact, I think this may have been free. Um, I don't know. But anyways, I, um, I kind of fold it up and I put it down on the ground. Um, and then I have a, a rubber uh, mat that's Four feet by four feet or roughly thereabout um, and I got it from Lowe's it was like 25 bucks or something and it has like little holes in it about like this and um, it's about an inch thick and it's heavy duty and um, I actually just keep it in the bed of my truck and um, I like it a lot because it you know keeps things from sliding and stuff like that but um, I put this down first and then I throw the mat on top of that this tarp just keeps from it keeps it from creating like a mud hole you know and, um, and then the rubber mat allows you to kind of get up off the ground and not get your feet uh, nasty and all that. All I do for lights is um, I have a little cheap strand of uh, rope lights that I got from Walmart. And um, I use those uh, office clips, like I said, and um, I just string it around the top and clip it. And, um, and it actually, it runs on a, a battery, so I'm not running a power cord with water because it doesn't seem like it makes much sense. And, um, and it's ample light. And in fact, I've used it with just a headlamp where I just hang it on the side and it's plenty of light as well. So um, it works really, really well. It's really convenient. It folds up, it's easy to carry. And, um, and I'm, I'm, really, I'm really happy about it. It's a, otherwise, it's, this would just be sitting in my garage and I wouldn't be using it. Um, but I was able to use a, a broken piece of camping equipment and turn it into something else. So. I uh, hope this helps. If you have a specific question or there's something that I forgot to cover, um, leave me a comment, uh, shoot me an email, something like that, and let me know, and I will, uh, I'll, you know, give you the details that you need. Hope this helps. Like always, uh, like, share, leave us a comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.